fresh in my head and everything i just traveled with sophie for the first time we went to a caribbean island um dominican republic we had a great time it was fun and i was like super nervous to bring her because you know never traveled with a baby before and i'm like oh my gosh how is this gonna be how she's going how she's going to be how she's gonna handle the fly everything like that so I wrote down here in front of me, I have a list of, it's like top 10 things that I think either you should bring or what I thought was very helpful bringing with me to have for her and um, some things that I did that I felt made our um, travel very smooth and um, yeah, so the first thing first, you got to get a passport. Sophia was five months when we traveled with her and I was like, oh gosh, I got to get a passport for a five month old baby spot. You need a passport. Um, we went to our local DMV. First advice I would say is to assign a person. If you are traveling with someone, I travel with my husband, assign a person to a task pretty much. So my husband was responsible for all the luggages making sure he you know pick up the luggage put it on the scale all that stuff if you had a carry-on with us make sure you're responsible for the carry-on so that it don't get missing first of all someone will take it and also that you know there's not like confusion oh i thought you were going to get it no i thought you picked it up stuff like that so assign a person for that i was responsible for all the documents and pushing the baby in the stroller if we didn't push her in the stroller and i chose to like strap her on she would be strapped on to me so at all times I was looking for the baby and having all documents present. Um, number two is to get a um, gate check stroller bag. A lot of people just, you know, um, gate check the strollers with no, not putting a bag or anything like that. Or probably some people use plastic bags and stuff. They do give you tags, you know, so you can so you can identify your your stroller or your your car seat, whatever you're bringing. Her seat, her car seat and stroller is like two in one, so that was in there. And we also like sneaking like little extra things. Like I didn't want my neck pillow, so I like put my neck pillow in there. So pretty much that, I definitely think was really good to have, so that you know you know they be throwing people stuff and then you know scratching stuff up. So I'm glad that it was all in the bag. And they will still give you a tag for that. It's airport, um, like certi certified. So they approve of you, you know, using that bag. Another thing was a lap bassinet. Now that was amazing for when she was sleeping. That was really good because I was not about to pay for a third seat for a four month old baby. No. So we got it. We did sit beside each other. Me and um, my husband, we sat beside each other. And when she would go to sleep, we will open out the bassinet, you know, on the board of her lap, and um, we just put her in. And she'll be sleeping, she'll be comfortable. We don't have to be holding her while she's sleeping, our hands getting tired, you know, it's like, it's not much space in a plane. Unless you're doing like first class, and we didn't. So it was, it was good to have that. And you know, the other um, passenger beside us, it didn't touch them, it didn't, you know, bother them or anything. So a lap bassinet was, amazing it was it was good very good i'm glad we 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 um we definitely use that um number four the fourth thing is earmuffs for um the noise this we had got prior to um you know her traveling because when we go to basketball or baseball games or wherever we go we um put the earmuffs over her that was really good she did not cry she did not hear like you know when the engine in the plane you know is on it's like super loud no nothing she was looking at us like i don't know like i will forget she have it on and i'll be talking to her she's just looking at me like 
I can't hear you. So that was really good. So we make sure that was on her when we were um, taking off and when we were um, landing. We made sure that was on her because we did not want her to cry and her ears started to bother her, um, bother her and stuff. So the earmuffs were very good. Now, in relation to the earmuff, another thing that I think really helped with her ears when we were flying was feeding. So we would feed her like three hours. So we know that by the time we board and we're gonna take off, she's hungry. So that she can actually like focus on her feed or breastfeeding, whatever you do. Um, and the sucking of the, the bottle or the nipple, that helps with their ears. So we did that for Sophia. We, um, we got put on her earmuffs. We started feeding her as soon as they said, you know, we're getting ready to take off. And that definitely helped. No problem. She was out. She was like, passed out. Number five is to book a pickup transportation. So, as I said, we went to DR. When I was booking my flight and my hotel, I also booked a pickup so that when I got there, it was like amazing. We got there. I went to, I booked it through Expedia. So I went to the Expedia, um, stay, uh, like booth. They had my name. They had our passenger information. They had everything. They knew when we're coming or a flight. Cause when you're booking it, it says like, you know, what flight you will be expected to come on. So they get update on your flights as well. You know, if there's delay or so on. So that was amazing because I don't speak Spanish and Steve understands, but not as much, like he doesn't speak it, you know, as fluently. So I wanted to make sure that when I got there, transportation was in place so that I'm not trying to, you know, trying to explain to them where I'm going, what hotel I'm trying to go to, all of that stuff. If you have family members or friends picking you up, then that's great. But we didn't, so we used um, Expedia Pickup Transportation. That was awesome. So just make sure whatever, um, you know, who, or whoever is picking you up, make sure that's in place. Let's, let's hustle. You just went through four whatever hours of flying with a baby. You just want to, when you reach, you're like, okay, I can relax now. We reach, we're going to have a good time. Things are, you know, can go smooth. So having a pickup transportation in place, I feel is very important. Another thing is to pack a mini first aid um, kit. So for Sophia, um, we made sure that we had like, you know, the baby Tylenol. We made sure we had like, you know, little band-aids or, you know, little things. Whatever your child or whatever medical condition your child has, just make sure that you pack that with you, either in a carry-on or your handbag. Just have it with you at all times. Don't check that first aid on the, um, you know, when you're um, boarding and so on. Don't check that. Just make sure that is with you. So I had a small little um, first aid um, kit with me. Um, seven is to um, pack, like, how many clothes? I brought one or two changing clothes with me on the plane i bought a few bibs with me a few because sophia is teething and oh it's like water it's like, it's like a pipe it's just like so much so much saliva so you know pack bibs pack um extra clothing for in case you know they mess up their clothes or so on so just pack extra clothing one or two outfits um bottles um and the feed and for the bottle that was another that was a big thing they tried to get me to throw away my baby water i said uh no like what am i supposed to do like how is my baby's going to eat like tell me how if i throw away her water so you can bring um a bottle i i brought i didn't even just bring a bottle i brought a gallon of water it's like a baby water and i brought that with me and how you can do that is um, when you go through security, they pour some out in like a little cup. They use a strip. They test it. You know, see if anything is in it. You're not smuggling something. Um, and make sure that it's good. So you can bring a gallon of water with you. Because we, as I said, we're going to DR and I did not want to use their water. So I brought like gallon of water with me for when we, we were going to be um, there. So bring, you can bring your water and you know, they test it and so on. Now, when I was 
going on the for uh, for the plane i will be posting the thermos that we use it's called tummy tea or something like that um i got it from amazon it holds the water like it makes the water stay warm for like 24 hours legit like it's good so we did that if you breast if you breastfeed um you know you i i breastfeed also so i know like some of the stuff that you know you can put it in you can put it in like a bottle um bring a bottle or if you have it in like a frozen bag you just pour it in the pour the hot water in the cap of the thermos because it's very big and you just put it in there and it dips so that is one thing oh sophia woke up oh, hold on i have to go get her so and she's gonna be joining us in this video then because she's okay guys so we're back and sophia is here sophia say hi we also had like it's it has three it has three sections to it it's like a little it's like a little traveling um kind of container for the formula so we pre-poured everything in three different sections that's three different feed so that you know it was easy we popped the cover pour it in a bottle the water it was easy we didn't have to bring the whole you know um can with us on the plane so we traveled early in the morning so finding a good time was best for like you know you your um the baby schedule sleeping patterns and so on so the time of traveling definitely i'm um, taking consideration um let's see other than that i think those are like some tips and some things that we brought with us when traveling with sophia for the first time and she had an amazing time right yeah an amazing time you had an amazing time. You're not gonna give them a smile. Give them a smile. Give a smile. Give them a smile. Say hi. She's looking on the face. <laughs> She's looking on the face. Say hi, Sophia. Sophia says hi. Yes. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. And, um, yeah. Say that's it. Oh, another thing dress light even the baby like don't even bother put on the shoes on them and stuff like that sophia first she first of all she hates having shoes on so i had onesie on her because i was like you know easy access pop up changed and that's it you know instead of taking off like a pants a sweater or this and no like i just had her onesie on and it was like easy for us to change her oh yes oh see julian julian all over me <laughs> so Dressing light was is very good, very very good, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe and share this video. Um, comment if you um you know have any questions or you just like the video. And you want to say, girl, you did a great job, right? <laughs> yeah. So uh yeah. Sophia will be featured in some other videos even when it's not expected. So, yeah. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching.